everybody from your home, your happy place. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. I hope you decide to subscribe and press the like button when we're done. And for all of you guys who've been along for the journey, I am so grateful. Uh, my daughter was on there looking at some of the comments and she goes, oh my goodness, mom, there's so many comments. It's like, you, you guys are so good to me. I so appreciate it. Um, I read every single one. I either heart it or respond depending on, you know, how much you're writing and if there's something to say to it. And um, a lot of times, oh my goodness, thank you for telling me how to fix my chalkboard. I must have had at least 10 comments of how to fix that chalkboard so that uh, on my butler's pantry so that the chalk will write on there. So I, I didn't know. You guys are full of information. If you're new, welcome. I hope you decide to subscribe. Join the family, press the like button and the notify button. And for the rest of you who've been here before, you know, you just make my day. Um, today I'm going to be working in my laundry room for Christmas. Um, I, I try to do every room um, just a little something, but this, has, this is a decent sized laundry room, so I'm going to have some fun in here. Um, the walls are still not even like painted because we're going to wallpaper and I'm not going to approach that till the spring. So what am I going to do in here? Um, I'm just start with, let's, I'm going to take you off of here. Okay, over here, you know, I found these wreaths. I'll show them to you in a second. And I had a wreath hanger on the outside. Um, I just took it off. I think I'm going to do like what I did for spring or for fall, how I used the, um, the zip tags or whatever you call those. And I'm just going to hang that on the outside middle, um, a wreath, and then I'm going to use a hook. I'm hoping it'll, yeah, that is rippled. Okay. Sometimes it's rippled and it's, it's smooth. So I don't know if a, um, hook is going to work in here. I hope so. You know, a suction cup hook, but I have it. So I've got these two wreaths. I did not buy them for this spot, but I, I really love them. I'll show them to you in a second. And I'm, you know, there's so much soft pink that I could have gone with. Sorry for the light in there, reflection. So much gorgeous soft pink I could have gone with to decorate in here. But something happened and I started out with just the leftovers because, you know, I don't have a lot of new stuff. And I went red and white, or red. Okay, so here's the stuff. Not all of it was left over, but I just kind of would grab stuff and I'll tell you what's old. Um, this little sign is old. And this, which I, that's not birdseed. I don't really know, but that's old. And this is old. Old, 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 old. Okay, so <laughs> it would have been easier for me to tell you that the little tree here, or the bigger tree, is new. That was Hobby Lobby this year, and this was new. And I, th I thought that was Hobby Lobby, but it doesn't have anything on it. And this is old. Okay, and then these are old. Some pillows. So, is it all I'm going to use? I don't know. I'm going to show you those wreaths I was talking about. I hadn't been in Michael's yet this year, and I went in last night. I love shopping during the dinner hour because nobody's in the store <laughs> and not that I don't like people, but it's, it just feels, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I get like anxious when people are around me and that we are all like in each other's way, looking at the same thing. Maybe there's only two, you know, I'm like, Oh my goodness. It may pressure me to buy something I really didn't want. That's I guess. Cause I'm worried. So look at this. It's got, four or five different types of greenery on it. So it looks so custom. To me, it looks very much real. The berries, the pine cones. I love the bells and the, I mean, the, the bow. So, and then it's on grapevine. So it's also got that natural texture. These were half price at, um, Michael's and so they were $30 you guys I don't think that's a lot for something this exquisite I mean if this were at one of those other stores maybe um, high end, higher end 
price wise anyway, like Pottery Barn or Williams Sonoma or um, Front Gate. I mean, you're going to pay 150 for it. Easy. And that's exactly what you'd be getting. And you'd be happy with it. You'd think, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. But for $30, there's no way I could even put this together paying for all those individual picks. So just telling you, if you're still looking for wreaths and this is your deal, red and green, I would totally go that direction. I didn't buy it for the laundry room. I bought it for downstairs, but I got in here today and I'm like, let's do it. Okay. So, um, I don't want to start up there. I'm going to start, well, I'll start here, right here on this little thing. So I'll spread everything away. Obviously, I know where the soap's going, and I'm going to put a candle somewhere over in here. So let's get busy. So do you guys decorate your laundry room? <laughs> I mean, it sounds kind of silly. I don't think I ever have before. Maybe, maybe I did something. I already have plotted this out a little bit. And I know there's some things that I would like to add, but I'm not going to be able to because I don't have it. And I'm going to be honest. I, well, first of all, I just, oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm uh, really, I want to be done spending because. But it's really hard when you're, you've just moved and you've got more space to decorate and you just started a YouTube channel and you'd like to keep making videos because you love to decorate and you love Christmas. So, but I really did get to the point yesterday and maybe it was other things also, who knows, that I was just like done. I, I, I that's what, what got me into Michael's cause I hadn't been in there. I, um, walked into TJ Maxx and I just, I, I felt like um, people have told me before they go into TJ Maxx or something like for clothes and they are overwhelmed and they can't find anything. That's how I felt in the decor. Did I feel that way about clothes? No, no. TJ Maxx and me have been friends for 25 years. I are Marshalls. I don't know if TJ Maxx and Marshalls were both out at the same time, but you know, they're the same company head. So yeah, there was a Marshalls 20 something years ago and I was working and people would go, cute dress. Where'd you get that? They'd go to Marshalls. I can't ever find anything there. And I'm thinking, why not? It's, it's, it, you find your size and you go look at everything and you know, that's cute. That's cute. And then you go try it on. And if it fits and you like it, I mean, come on, the prices are crazy good especially now. Okay. All right. Let's stop. I know where the soap is going. I need to clean this up. Okay. This soap, I've probably talked about this before. I'll talk about it till, till they don't make it anymore. Um, and you'll see different versions of it because we don't ever use it all. I mean, we're not in here washing our hands very often at this sink. So this is a uh, Williams Sonoma. This is their winter forest with essential oils. Um, blended with pine, cedar, and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it is so fragrant. I love it, and the lotion's really good. So I'm gonna pop this over here. Um, let's see. I guess I'll do it like that. I don't even know. Does it matter? Not really. Okay, you're not gonna stay here either. Whoa, we're getting down to nothing. All right, so this tree, I don't know if you can tell, let me get you a little closer. This tree's like hanging crooked, so there's nothing, <laughs> nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to pop something inside. I've already fluffed it a little. I don't wanna overdo the fluffing. I kinda like the way it looks. I, I love it. I guess it's like a blue spruce. Um, our church has blue spruces planted on the property. They're so pretty. I want one. I mean, they're, they are considered the Charlie Brown tree. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to put something in there, but I don't have anything right now, so I'm going to set you, oh, I put her, I, I put this little blue spruce in here, yeah, once I set it down, it'll be fine. Come on, baby, you can make it. I just, you know, um, in case I haven't said this before, this antique um, poster, you can even see the holly 
uh, berries and things here. This was always done at Christmas. It says for Christmas, 1897. So having this beautiful little blue spruce right next to that just makes me really happy. And I used to have a ton of these. I don't know where they all are. I had them in pink and red. I don't know what other colors. And I went looking for some yesterday um, for my other trees and I didn't see anything like this. I did find something, but anyway, I've, I've got one strand and this, I'm just gonna pop it on this tree. Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph fears his whistle And gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Wraps the final gift You know it's time for Christmas For each and every one Sorry guys. Okay, I like it. Um, I'm gonna move you just a little over in here. I'm gonna pop that, I think, right there. And I can't go here, should I opposite? I think I'm doing that because there's words there. And I try to separate words. I like words, I love words. My only issue is lighting this candle right by the Oh goodness, this is not a new one for sure. I need a different candle, that one's done. I know why that was in here, because I wanted to save the glass. I'm gonna have to go find a different one. I have totally used it up. <laughs> but it still smells great, and I, I, can't, I just can't throw this away. That'd be such a waste, so I've gotta dig the wax out. So I'll find another candle, I'm sure I have one. Okay. Let me go do that. I'm gonna like this one so much better anyway. So this one's new. I love this. Okay, these are Walmart. I showed you a white one, I think. Maybe not, maybe. No, I did. I had a white one in here for fall, but it smelled Christmassy and it had, I've moved it to another room. It has this little, like, I mean, it's so cute. This says joy. And then, oh my goodness, this is such a, um, I, I had a word on the tip of my tongue that I just lost. I mean, it's there's no fragrance. I can't even describe. So it's blood orange and cinnamon. Sweet, juicy, and zesty. Now, I was going to put that in my kitchen, but it belongs here. So I do have a little candlestick. I'm thinking about putting it on. At least I think that's what it is. Now, this is obviously wider, but it'll still work. This is a Hobby Lobby. And I, I don't know if I got it this year or last. I love that it now picks it up higher. Hold on, I'm still not gonna try it over here. Just nope, 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 nope. And do I even need it there? Do I want it over here? You know, I kind of like to frame things a little bit, but then if I do that, I want something over there. Oh golly, I don't have anything right now. I'd like something there. I really, really want So for now, I'm gonna set that in the corner because I can't, no, I can't handle it. You, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the thing. That can't be there by itself. Um, can it be over here? It can, but now I'm really heavy over here. Really heavy, too heavy. Um, can I do these two over here? Let's see. 
I could. There's balance in that, but I don't love it. I really don't. I have another little sign that says, uh, I, maybe I'll go get a different sign that maybe that'll work. Maybe this one's just too much. But anyway, I just need connection to my frame and then that doesn't work there. It just doesn't work. And you, you guys, I'm not like, yes, I'm a decorator and I'm just saying, this is just common sense. It, it doesn't feel right, so you know. You don't have to know. Like, do I need a group of three here? I don't. The scale of this is enough. It doesn't need any more. If you had a little ball, or pine cones there, that'd be great. But over here, this is not working. It's just not gorgeous. So um, I'm gonna move on to another spot and I'll come back to that if I can find some things. So um, I'm gonna go up here, but again, I don't have much. So I don't think I can get you any higher. I'd like to, but I don't think I can. All right, so all I have up there, right now is a sign, is that big sign we saw. And the thing is with this, these are, I love these. I love these displays that we put, but they're short. Well, that one's much larger, but this one's really short. So some of the other signs that I'd like to put up here aren't gonna work. I'm gonna put this house for leaves. And put it right there. So I have nothing else for here. And I'd like some garland, but, and I brought some of my garland in here. I can't cut that garland. It's the, it's got lights in it. So I just can't do it. It's way too much to go up here. So I need some really inexpensive, flimsy garland, which they had some at Michael's, but, um, and they even had some of it at Hobby Lobby, but not in colors that I wanted. So I kind of need that. So that's all we're doing for now. This may be a two, three day video because I thought I had this together, but I really don't. All right, we're gonna move over to I'm gonna move over here. I've already hung a wreath. Let me change my light. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna put up here is that larger sign I had. Um, this is from Walmart, um, probably three years ago. I don't know. Really, it was very inexpensive. Well, it wasn't that inexpensive. Unless it was on sale. It was $17.88. I'm saying it was $10. That's, that's cute. I'm so happy that this fit. I'm so happy it fits. Okay, there's that's great. And then this little tree. I don't know where, where I got this, but you know what? It gives it's old. It gives what I need. And I'm gonna can you see this here? Yeah, I'm going to put this over here, and then in the center, I'm going to go in with that beautiful um, seed or rock church. I just think this is so pretty, and there's a, really a bell that rings up there. It's so beautiful. I'm going to put that right there in the center. I'm just loving the rich red and green in here. I love that. Okay, and then these um, are plastic bells that, I don't know, yeah, these are the ones I just bought, I think, or else I had. I had the, I had some, and then I bought some more in a different color, not knowing. Um, so I'm just going to take this right now. If I had two of them, I would totally do more than that. Let's see. I want that really in there. I don't think this is going to last, but for now, that's what I have. To, I love that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'll get you up there. Let me get this. Okay. You know it's 
it's Christmas When the snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph hears his whistle And gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Wraps the final gift You know it's time for Christmas For each and every one Okay, I have about four of these pillows. I don't know where I'm putting them. But for now, I thought they were the right size, and they are, to squeak in here. And I tried them here without, I'll show them both ways. You all can give your opinion then, which I enjoy. So to me, um, that's too much. <laughs> so I just flipped them around. They just have a lot going on. If it just was some simple words. So now everything else pops. I'm gonna try it. It's hard to get away from this far enough in here so you can see it. So there's nothing. That's a box of garland that I thought I might use, but it's way too big for in here. I think that looks just lovely. Okay, I found, um, a piece of garland downstairs that I had three pieces of. They're really tiny and they're like little chain link sort of garlands. So they're very, very flexible. So I just watered it up around there. I was kind of wishing it was uh, had red berries, but after I put it on there, I just really fell in love with it because it, it pulls in the gold of the frame here. And uh, I just think it looks great. And I finally, I've moved that Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas around five times since I decided to film. But let me see if I can back up enough that you can kind of get the picture of just that space. So I didn't really add anything over there. I had the uh, Merry Little Christmas over behind the faucet. It just looked like too many things spread out. It just needed to be less. So anyway... Um, I'm going to get up on the ladder and show you what I did on the top shelf. I found, I went out, okay. I went to Michael's yesterday and I was so impressed. I wish I'd gone there earlier in the season. So I went back today because I wanted to check out their garlands and sure enough, so this is another one of those little chain link garlands and it's got the red berries in it, but it also has the poinsettias. These are $7.99. Like that's just wonderful. I bought quite a few. And then I told you I wanted a um, all-in-one nativity so that it would refer to that this house believes that I was talking about um, in Jesus instead of Santa Claus. And so anyway, I am really happy with this. I think it looks really cute and I'll back it off and, and get down. But let me show you, I hung the wreath. Um, I just used a command strip, small one. I think it looks so good there. Then I grabbed that shelf. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it or not. I'm gonna pull out my wallpaper in a little while and see. Um, I think it's, you know, my wallpaper has lime in it. I know it does. So it's probably going to look really cute. But I grabbed a mirror in the in the garage and had hung it up, held it up here and thought, oh, that would be so awesome. But it's just not the right mirror for in here. Okay. Let me just, I don't think, oh yeah, I did one more thing. 
All right, well, let me get down. And then I'll just do a close up on everything for you. So I uh, kept running across random pillows. This one actually still had a price tag on it. So it was this year. It's TJ Maxx. I think it was somewhere between $16.99 and $19.99. Um, it actually has little jingle bells on it. So it actually rings. And this texture is like a, um, it's, it's, it is texture. It's not just a pattern. Um, it feels like crochet over the top, not to mention all of the beautiful stitching. So, uh, yeah, what an improvement, uh, that over what I had there, those, these two pillows turned around, not to mention it's not just blah, uh, a, you know, kind of blah red. I've got the red and the green. And so I think that looks really good. So I'll do a close up for you. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. by today. I am so appreciative of your time, your comments. Um, it means so much to me. Thanks so much. Uh, I hope that uh, today's decorating was fun for you. It's always fun for me. So, you know, I could never let you see how I do start to finish because it would be a week long video, which is why sometimes you don't see me for a while. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I run out of stuff because I'm still looking for things and I don't want to bring you an unfinished video although or an unfinished decorated room although I know I've done that a few times and I hope that on our Christmas tour 
it'll all kind of come together as much as it can. I mean, anyway, why did I do a laundry room? You know, I did it because our garage door opens in, into here, which is where we come into our house when we leave. And so I want to see something when I walk in. I don't want it to be just a room, a pass through. I like every spot of my house to say, I'm special. And uh, it's also a place where I do a lot of laundry. I mean, I'm in here every day doing laundry. I like to do laundry. <laughs> so, um, taking those little spots that you're in all the time and making them just a little bit more special for Christmas. It's, you know, if you've got the stuff, if you've got the time, if you want to do it, and I did, and I hope you enjoyed it. So um, if you liked my video, give it a like and share it if you would like. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you're subscribed. Check out the playlist for anything. I don't know if there's really much in here that I can link, but I love to like sort of do little designs for people. Like I will maybe just go online and, and link some things that I think would look kind of cute in a laundry room. And if you're thinking about doing yours, you can just kind of browse through it. It's all going to be on Amazon. It's not going to be expensive. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.